welcome back to the Black Queen Prophetess channel, where I practice all things metaphysical. Today, I want to tell you about the Honey Pot, located at 1083 Euclid Avenue, Suite B, in Little Five Points, Atlanta, Georgia. The Honey Pot is an awesome metaphysical shop where you can find tools for your metaphysical needs such as crystals, candles, smudge sticks, incense, tarot cards, books, and much more. I bought my first tarot deck at the Honey Pot. Yes, the black tarot uh, uh, set I got there first and the staff that I spoke to, Jamie, was so, so helpful in my search for my first tarot deck. I have been very pleased. I have returned back for more of my um, needs like the Florida water and my smudge sticks and candles. Yes, yes. Uh, every time I visit the store, it is the greatest experience. The staff and the owner, Lana Harris, are a great source of information. The Honey Pot is quickly becoming my happy place. If you are in the Atlanta metropolitan area, go visit the Honey Pot and tell them that the Black Queen Prophetess sent you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Black Queen Prophetess channel, where I practice cardamancy and tarot readings. Today, I'll be doing the weekly read for Scorpio. Scorpio, oh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ah, you had been in, not in the running for a long time. And the Holy Spirit guided me to do a one card tarot reading for you and post that and my, 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 did y'all turn out with nine views of that one card reading. Okay. Um, so that put you in the top five, but you were last because I didn't feel it was fair to, um, put you at the second one for the season because it's cancer season because it took that one card read which was easy to watch really quickly so you are in the top five but by the hell yo chin 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 now um so for you those of you that are not uh, is new to this channel and um, you're not prescribed, I mean, subscribe to this channel. I hope you like this reading. Okay, so let me explain to you all that the, how to get into the top five for the following week's reading. It'd be the most viewed videos. The top viewed um, zodiac signs that were viewed, the videos that were viewed for this week will be in the top five for next week, okay? And those readings, what does that mean to be in the top five? It means that you have read first and posted first. You are priority, okay? All right. Now, the other way to be in the top five and be the very first reading of the week is it to be your season. So, Scorpio, when it's your season in late September and, I mean, late October and early November, you'll be done first. Doesn't matter how many of y'all watch. No matter if you're the top views, you're going to be prioritized. You are first. If the only one I can do for the week is yours and your season, you're going to be done. Okay? The And, of course, that is the only ways that you could be in it be the top view videos or it be your season now if there is a four week consecutive zero views for your weekly read scorpio 
you will be, your videos will be, or your readings will be discontinued until it's your season, okay? Now, if in your season, a bunch of Scorpios been watching the videos, all up in the videos, commenting on the videos, you will be reintroduced to the reading lineup, okay? Now, let's get into this reading and starting it off with a prayer. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. I yield myself to you to receive the message clearly that you have for Scorpio for the week of June 26th through July 2nd. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your message. I thank you for ears to hear it clearly. And I pray for those who are watching and listening to this message for the week will be blessed. With that, whether they be a sun sign, a moon sign, on Scorpio, moon sign and Scorpio, rising sign and Scorpio, or a cross watcher for Scorpio, Holy Spirit, thank you for blessing them. Let those who have ears, let them hear the word of the Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Holy Spirit wanted me to clarify the card. I want to talk about your relationships here. Just want to say that wants to talk about your relationship, but to clarify, when I say at the end of my prayer, let those who have ears let them hear. That means if it resonates, it resonates with you. If it wasn't meant to resonate, then you're not going to understand this reading at all, and will not apply to you. And that's just fine because this is a general reading. This is not your reading, okay? This is not your personal reading, okay? This is a general reading. Some Scorpios is going to get, and the others it ain't, okay? But the Holy Spirit wants to talk to about your relationships. Who are you sharing your energy, your affections, your emotions with? Okay, the two of hearts is also an expectation card. That could, that could mean, ooh, all these cards are falling to the floor. Um... It could mean an actual child is going to be born, or it could be the birth of an idea. It may be, uh, you may be pregnant with a, an idea, with an uh, invention. You may be pregnant with that, okay? Or, and this, whether you are a, uh, man or woman, you can still be expecting, okay? You may have, uh, God may have given you a desire or may have spoken to you, Scorpio, about something. You may be in an expectation mode. Um, you're expecting to receive some news about something or someone okay now what I'm hearing is that there you may be expecting um, you may have invested some money um, previously and um, you are starting to see the rewards of that money or you may have invested energy because I see the seven of diamonds, eight of diamonds, nine of diamonds, and you have the seven of clubs and six of clubs. Diamonds represents energy, money, success, okay? So whatever you invested in, you have high expectations that it is going to, you have high expectations of whatever you invested in that or whatever you invested, be it energy, be it money, be it, um, be it energy, be it money, um, diamonds represents money, material things, success, and power. So you may be, 
that's what the Holy Spirit wants to tell you to inspect. I mean, expect. That's what she wants to talk about um, is get ready, get ready, get ready. <laughs> okay? Not to really quote T.D. Jakes, but get ready. Okay? Things that you've invested in in the past is about to, you're about to reap the rewards of whatever it was that you invested, be it the money or the energy of money. Because when I say energy of the money or the spirit of money, um, in biblical sense, the spirit of money is mammon. Okay. Um, you should never be ruled by mammon. Okay. You rule. You rule over mammon. And you have invested time or energy in something, that is also money. Time is money. I know you all have heard that. Time is money. If you spent time in something, it is paying off. Okay? You're reaping the rewards of your harvest or whatever you sown, okay, in the past, okay? So much so that you're going to have to start watching it you're going to you're going to see you already know this i right the holy spirit is saying that you already know you knew it was a good one because the holy spirit told you to invest in it okay so get ready Okay, you already know this eight of uh, eight of diamonds is clarity or clairvoyance. You've seen into the future. That's why you invested, and now you're going to be reaping the rewards of that investment. Okay, and you're gonna you're getting the payout. You may be getting dividends for that investment. You may be reaping uh, the rewards of spending time or networking. So some of those network um, networking events that you spent money on, aka time on, going and doing it, you're starting to see it being beneficial to you, okay? You also have this um, jack of diamonds, okay, which is an announcement of money coming in, okay? This is announcement or news about financial um, matters here, okay? You, your money is about to get real stable here, and that is awesome for you, Scorpio. Very awesome, and it's probably going to come from uh, the, the time you spent in your business, here, you've been putting in the hard work and it's paying off. The seven of clubs is hard work. Okay. It's also the improvement with hard work. Congratulations. You put in the time and you're reaping the rewards of your investment. Okay. Reaping the reward of the hard work. Even if it was financial investments, like you put some stock in it. It may have been hard work not to pull it out when you start to see it sinking or pull out from doing it. You let it sit there and let it do what it do, and you're now reaping the consequences, the good consequences of your smart investment here. Or it could be also that you invested in a relationship. Okay? Um... And the six of clubs represents that um, you you may be getting help or advice. Okay, you was advised. You was advised. Oh, glory! Hold on, hold on. Holy Spirit is saying you are having so much coming in. You may need an advisor to help you um, manage everything. But you're getting things done. And you may be seeking, you may be seeking 
the advice of a intelligent Aquarius is going to be helping you out. They're going to advise you and or help you with all that you have coming in, um, Scorpio. Congratulations, y'all. And then the outcome card here, which is you, Scorpio. The King of Hearts is a Scorpio energy. Okay. Um, this King, this King of Hearts is a Scorpio energy. Um, And you are authority. So once you um, you're starting to re 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 uh, reap the the reap from your investments, the time you spent. Again, it could have been that you spent time building this business, and you're starting to see the um, reap the rewards of all your hard work here, and. Um, You, you 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 are favored here. You are you've become an authority in the area in whichever you invested in. You have become an authority in it. You will be the authority here, Scorpio. Okay, let's go ahead and get a one car pull final um to wrap. Dang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to shuffle it because this card flew out like me, 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 me. And this is the son of wands here. So this is, we see here, this card has here, let me just look at this card. It looks like it's a guy that's free falling. Honestly, it looks like it's free falling or He's in deep water. <laughs> Holy Spirit says, this is going to be a whole adventure. Okay. You're going into new territory here. Hmm. I was saying that he's free falling, but when I look at this card, definitely looks like he has goggles on. He's underwater with uh, these major big fish here. You're venturing into new places. You're going deep. You're getting a deeper relationship when it comes, because wands, I think of like a magic wand. So it's a spiritual, it's, you're, you're really diving deep inwardly, spiritually. And it's an adventure for you. You can now go deeper spiritually because your finances is, God got you financially. So that frees you up to go deeper in the spirit. So this is going to be a really good week for you or when, whenever you hear this message, it's going to be really good. Start expecting because it's going to be good. The Holy Spirit is get, letting you know, ooh, something good is coming for you, Scorpio. Your hard work is paying off. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have for you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I'll see you next week for your weekly read. Bye.